Hello, uh, everyone. So I'm going to show you how to uh, predict future population using our engine. Uh, first, well, the first thing first, you need uh, what data I use. And today is work pop uh, global projection wind data. Estimated population per 100, 100 millimeter grid square. So this is from 20, 2000 to 20. So as you can see from the there are the filter. There is uh, 21 images from 2020 and for the data uh, for the I'm data you're gonna use Java Island data from Gaul data and then you're gonna filter it right you're gonna use TKI Jakarta, Bante, Jawa Barat, and Sutra for the Java province data uh, this data I mean this one okay uh, next uh, I'm gonna filter the area too using Java Island then I'm gonna uh, filter to be Indonesia area, then I clip it to using Java data, Java uh, island province data. Then I show you this data, which is the 2021, 2020 data population. This one, uh, we can use. Then after that, uh, I already used the, the population. To see the population per, uh, per region, right? per this area, per Banten, uh, Jawa Barat province. How many population per? Uh, per province this data is Banten is 12 million, Jawa Barat is 45 million, and Jakarta is 9 million, and etc. You can see it right here. Okay, last thing that we're gonna predict the data. Uh, before addition, you will need to add uh, other band, which is uh, for this case, you need to uh, make a year band for it as uh, you know, x value uh, for real regression. So, we're gonna make it a uh, pop year band. Which is just use uh, uh, Java pop, but you map it to get the new band to make a new band. Fit the image on which you create a new band, a uh, year band, I call it. It is coming from image, get a uh, year. number then you can edit uh, get rename image to be a uh, year band year then you can return image advance year band and then we're gonna rename it uh, to and we're gonna select it again so the position will be, will be changed where the year comes first, then the population comes first. So for, because for the linear fit regression, you need to decide which part is the x and which part is the y, the x is here. Then after that, we're gonna cast the value into a specific value, which is I can use in 32, because you need the same uh, unit of data to for the regression. Okay. Uh, next is that you need to okay, let's uh, you need to uh, make a linear regression of it so linear regression so what you need to do is that yeah made a regression right you're gonna be pop year band you're gonna reduce it a linear fit uh, reduce survey it okay, let's print what's the value of it regression we need to bend scale on offset scale is like the you know the x uh, the a in a and y uh, equal to a x and b this the a and offset is the b what you're going to do is that you're going to, you're only going to multiply it. Okay, so we're going to predict for year 2023. For example, right? 2023, we're going to use the regression like pop 2023, we're going to use the data, regression select scale. Then we're going to multiply it to 2023. Then you add the offset to regression select. Select offset. 
Okay, let's sh uh, show the image. What's the prediction report? Yeah, you can you can wait. Okay, continue. You can change the value of the thing here. Prediction three. Prediction. Uh, this is the prediction data. Okay, let's try to compare it with our previous data, 2020 data. This is 2020 data. And this is the prediction one. Yeah, I mean, it not, not change much. Yeah, let's see change a lot. Yeah, we're not changing value. We, we need to calculate the value to, to see the difference. Okay, we're gonna do the same as before. <laughs> Reduce it again to see the difference. Reduce calculation, which is the this data. You can reduce it using the same collection or the previous previous collection. Some, 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 some. Good chart, twenty dollars, which is. Let's check the table. <laughs> yeah, take a while. Try it back. Okay, let's take a while. Okay, it's done. So here the data, so for band 10, uh, uh, this is not adding so much, it only like adding to like 20,000, I guess, eh, for 20,000, for West Java is adding, uh, oh, it's getting fewer actually, it's decreasing the data, and, uh, for it's also decreasing, oh, the feature is uh, adding. Uh, it seems that most of the population have been chicken population. Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know why is it. <laughs> why is it for the question? I don't know. Maybe it's just stop. Okay, let's. Okay, you can also predict for maybe for uh, uh, make more year. Okay. You can predict for 2020. Uh, for 2050. I don't know. It's fine. 2050 population data. 2050. This is data. 2050 data. Okay. Then we're gonna reduce it again. So reduce. Java pop. Java pop 2050 reduce. This is data. You reduce with using existing data. We have changed the value to be 2050. What are some? The same. Pop twenty fifty. Okay, let's check. Okay, this is twenty fifty prediction to compare it to twenty twenty data. It's getting brighter. Okay, let's see. 2020, 2023, and 2025. Ah, interesting. Why well, it seems that uh, it's, it's decreasing, right? Then it's increasing again. Ah, awesome. So it seems that the band 10 is, uh, is decreasing. It can keep increasing. Then it also increase, increase much more, because you're not adding so much. 
I assume every every component is uh, adding, but but transmitter is not adding that much. I don't know why is that. Is there something wrong with the calculation? Oh. Okay, maybe that's it uh, for quality quality prediction uh, using uh, work of data in our engine using linear fit uh, regression. So that's it. Thank you. Bye bye.